Hey guys, it's Mark Rodriguez here at the Sci-Fi Con, and we're checking it out. There's a lot of different variety of things. We got superhero stuff, we got stuff related to, we got stuff related to Star Wars and Star Trek, we got a um, whole bunch of zombie schemes, we got this cool panel, how to survive the zombie apocalypse, how to really survive it, and they really get out. So it's pretty cool, we got vampire Santa Clauses, and all this just random stuff here, so let's go check it out, guys. Check it out guys, this is um, a Batmobile here. This totally epic car here. And this is actually a good donation thing, it's for special proceeds. Um, you can take pictures for free like I'm doing right now. Or you can pay 10 bucks to actually like, you know, get past the barrier and be like in the car or pose by the car or touch the car, something like that. And um, yeah, it's, it's a good charity thing, people for special needs and it's pretty cool. But just look, look at the detail, the design and everything. It looks almost exactly like the one from the old show. I'm not sure. I don't remember the old show having the um, police siren thing here on top of it. That's the only thing that kind of makes me doubt it. But I mean, look at look at the detail, guys. Even in the inside here, so it's pretty cool, guys. And yeah, it, it, I, I like it. I like it. That's cool. You can check it out. And you know, if you pay for photos or stuff, you're you're actually doing this for a good cause. So. It's pretty awesome. And it's actually one of the main reasons I wanted to come to the con. Check out this awesome Batmobile. And all this um, epic memorabilia based on the epic and classic 60's Batman show with Adam West and Burt Ward. How's it going, man? Uh, can you explain this um, giant city here with the glowing well, tubes and everything? Oh, so here's... What this is, um, this is a big chaos spaceship. Um, so it starts at the prow and comes, you know, comes to the back here. Wow. Um, we have the landing bay up here. This is the the engine engine room back here. That is the um, the um, captain's, you know, like the, the um, cockpit or the you know Holy command moly. bridge, and then the bottom part, um, all the gray stuff, is the uh, engineering Jeez. section. How, how long did it take you to make all this, man? Just look at the size and scope of all this. It uh, it took about a year. Holy and um, we did this uh, for last year in uh, Chicago Games Day. Um, how do you how do you transport this? Because you gotta like take it apart and just reassemble it or something, exactly. right? So all of the stuff is pretty much you can take it off and pick it up and, and uh, it's collapsible basically. Wow! Give me a second, me. We uh, split the front from the back. Holy cow, man! So is this um. Is this based on a series or something? Cause I'm this is a uh, Warhammer 40k. Um, wow! It is uh, it is a, a game by Games Workshop. There's a lot of uh, backstory to it. There's a lot of books out there for it. Holy so. moly! That, this is just awesome, man. This is just, I mean the level of detail. The things move. There's dice. There's glowing tubes. Exactly. It's it's. It was a labor of love, but it was it was well worth it. And then all of that's from the same theme, because that other piece yes. too. Yep. Actually, on Sunday we're having a big battle. It's called an apocalypse game. So we're actually going to have the ship fighting. We're going to slam these three tables together to make the planet. Wow. The ship will be above the planet, shooting down. And then things. So the so that are castle down. piece over there is also part of it. Yes. All of the all of the stuff on the on the front table there. Holy uh, moly. This is just insane, man. I mean, look at this. You could even, you could take forever just filming just this one part here and all the details. Just in this part here. That's, that's like awesome enough. The only man. thing we have missing is we we normally have water in there that boils over. We have a, a bubbling water in the sacrificial pit. Oh so God. That's, uh, oh man. That's the only thing we didn't have. For this today. is the most detailed thing I've ever seen. <laughs> About a year. Yeah. We uh, we had this for, for a convention in Chicago last year where they had like a table. Was that like another sci-fi con or what was that one? Um, it was it's called Games Day by uh, wow. Games Workshop. It's a sci-fi convention basically, and um, they had a table building contest for uh, things. And we we won first place with it last year. So. Wow. This is like the most awesome display of just of awesomeness I've ever seen in my life, guys. With so much intricate detail. And like a full year to make this. And probably a couple of days to transport this. But wow, guys. Okay, guys. Here we got uh, Medieval Hardy Quinn from this, um, this upcoming, I think you call it like fan series, web series. Yes. 
Yes, it's called Legends. It's basically based on Batman, like back in the medieval days, I guess alternate reality version or something. And you got you show your shield and all that yeah. cool stuff. And I think um, there was a panel earlier. That you're like a professional actress too. Yeah, I am. I live in Los Angeles. What, what were like other things you did before? Or how did? What other projects did you do before? Um, I actually just graduated from USC last year, uh, last mm -hmm. May. So I've just been doing a lot of. Like short films with my friends and uh, yeah. a couple plays here and there and out in LA. That's like, pretty cool. How did you find out about these guys? Or how did you? Chris, who is the creative director of Poke the Bear, is one of my really, really close friends. He used to live in Los Angeles. That's how we met. And uh, he brought me in on this project because he thought I'd be a good Harley. And I jumped at the chance to do it because it's yeah. awesome. Well, that's cool. So. <laughs> Yeah, there was actually a panel earlier that showed in great detail how they put this together, the Batman, medieval Batman armor. Yep. And well, you guys are starting a, a kickstart soon, so if, if you want to see the series coming out in about, a, I think you said a month or so? A month or so, you're going to be able to see the pilot episode. All right, um, give the information, like like what website or what place. Check us or... out at www.poke-the-bear.com. You can also search Legends The Dark Knight on Facebook and like us on Facebook. And how, how long have you guys been doing like in production and everything? We've been uh, legitimate LLC for one year. We started with our first feature film, Moreau, and we were now moving on to new projects, including Legends. That's cool. Did did you guys like uh, how, like do you like contact DC or how how's that work? With the fan film series, we're not making any money off of this. this like is, a labor of love. This is completely labor of love. It's also a great wow. PR piece. Um, Everybody loves Batman. We love Batman. Yeah, of we course. Who doesn't? Give it a little so, bit of respect. so there's like a medieval Joker too that she's working for or something. That or? is definitely going to make an appearance if we make it past the pilot episode. If we're able to find funding, there will most definitely. Wow. Be Joker. Yeah. Wow. So there you go, guys. Just look it up and. Um, if you want, you can show some support, donate some cash there, and let's get this project going. This is awesome. The detail in the costumes are epic. We got professional actors here, not just people from the streets. Like professional actors that have been in, in productions before. So this is just epic, guys. So be sure to check them out on um, pokeythebear.com, right? Pokeythebear.com. Poke the yeah. Cool. Thank Thanks. you very much. Thanks. Hey guys, you're up for this time. We had a lot of fun here at the Sci-Fi Valley Con. There was lots of cool panels. We bought a bunch of classic comics. We got some cool fudge and some um, cinnamon powdered nuts and stuff. So it's pretty cool. You can check it out. It's awesome. There's still one more day to go for everyone that's still here for Sunday. Anyone that's a big fan of sci-fi stuff and zombies and in the upcoming games of Star Wars and stuff, just check it out, guys. Have a good one. See y'all next year.